All right, Ron Vaughn here again. Good to see you. This is Blake. It's my model today. Uh, today we're talking about sprained ankles, uh, how they can affect your back. The muscles come from your ankle, all right, your glutes. And Blake has sprained his ankle big time, and so we're going to work on that, loosen them up. Thank you. Let's do it. All right. So there's a picture. So foot, top of the foot, side of foot, side view. So we're going to work on this area here. Okay. This is called the. Everybody look, there's a fibularis brevis, right? And then we're also following up here. Okay, fibularis brevis, got it. Working our way up, this is the other side. We're not working on that, we're a little bit of that, but more mostly the inside. You turn the page, I'm gonna show you how this kind of falls all the way up, okay? There's a brevis there, fibularis longus. Comes all the way up, longus attached here. The head of the fibula. From there, connects to the bicep femoris. Okay. Flip the page. You can see how it attaches up in here. Bicep femoris from here. It's all the way up close to the tailbone area. It's actually on the sacrum. Okay. So that's where I, I'll be massaging this area. And once you release this, this when this is all tight, so this pulls here. It makes the back kind of the pelvis kind of kind of tilt. So you have a lot of back pains. So just to show you, show it starts from the feet all the way up. So I just want you to look, know what we're gonna be working on today. So we're working here, the bottom of the ankle. This is called the fibrous muscle here, brevis and all in here. There's a lot of scar tissue build up in here, so you need to break this up. This muscle comes around and actually it connects like down into this foot here. Goes all the ankle and it goes all the way up. So what I'm doing is actually searching for this muscle. He has so much scar tissue in here that I have to break it up. So you can feel the muscles here that they're so tight. There's like three different muscles that only kind of feel it's like one big giant muscle. So by going in there and breaking it up. How you feeling there, Blake? Need some, need some lotion for the motion here. So try to find a Attachment here. Is that nervy? Yeah. So you gotta remember there's nerves in this area, so when you're looking for it, you're gonna hit some. Just kind of just work it, break it up. There's one of them. See how I kind of cross it here. Yeah. Good spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Break it up. Kind of get the muscle back to life. Kind of move it a little bit. So I can actually feel the two uh, bones touching here. So when I break up the tissue in here, and scar tissue, I can get some some space. And so. What he's doing his exercise, he doesn't pitch. Nerves. So once you get this broken up, you can follow it all the way up. Up the leg. All the way to the origin. Because they're on the fibula, 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 excuse me. Fibula. Here. So how'd you do this again? Me? Yeah. Basketball. In high school and then Sprained multiple it. times in college. Yeah, bad. I had torn the Taylor fib and then four months later tore the cow fib. And then just never got it fixed. 
So a lot of twisted ankles. If you get twisted ankles and you're feeling stiff, this could be your problem. <laughs> Golly. And that muscle just kind of died out there. More lotion. Ah, oh, there goes your shoes. Come on, move it. So you're gonna get the range of motion in here. Then you can kind of. So the fibula and tibia, when they get all tight like this from these muscles, breaking this up in here, it gets a movement. And so the, you know, when the two bones come down and into the joint, you, one goes on the side, one goes in there. So anyway, you gotta get it where they can get some mobility in your ankle. Because when there's no mobility, you start tightening up like this and it becomes stick. So by doing all this, I can feel the bones I wanted to move ankle joint. Oh, nice. That's right. Hope they uh, pick that up. That's right. What well, happens when you, uh, your joints have some mobility in it? Because, you know. Getting the muscles and the blood flowing in here is just kind of, it's everything working. Move that around a little bit. What's that feel like? Good. Can you do this? What do you, yeah. Hold it. How's that feeling? Yeah. Right. So, cases like his, the muscles have been overused or kind of torn and strained. Once you get it loose, you got to strengthen it. So, calf raises. What other exercise? Calf raises. Uh, do your toe, toe crunches, ABCs, right? ABCs with your, with your foot. Um, what's another good? Ankle circles. Ankle circles. Yeah, mobility, pretty much. Picking up a penny. Or a pin. All right, cool. So now I'm following the muscle up here to the attachment here. Playing the guitar here. It's a little bit of scar tissue available right here. So you gotta remember that nerve also comes through here, so you gotta kinda you'll probably hit it. <laughs> That's just part of it sometimes. So the other attachment. So this is part of the uh, hamstring here. It's the longest. Ooh. Ron, if you can speak up a little bit. All right. So here we're working on the attachment the other attachment for that muscle, which comes down here to the bottom of the foot, just kind of working our way up. And eventually we'll end up on the hamstring and behind it on his glute attachment in the tuberosity area. But right now, I'm trying to play the guitar here on this uh, bone here, there's a little scar tissue build up. So I kind of use his body, his movement. Put a little pressure on there. Try not to make him cry too bad. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so another thing, this fibula, fibula is just you want to kind of get some movement between the fibula and tibia, just kind of push it away. Because if you notice in your anatomy books how all the muscles attach in this area, and they get real tight, and you start getting rotation. You're right there. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Especially those runners out there. All the way down. See, now you kind of see how the muscle. See this crease right here? Look at that. <laughs> All right. Of course, it comes up in your knee. All right. So now I'm going to turn them on the stomach and do the hamstring. So now we're working our way up, all the way up to the glute area, because that's where, you know, that's where we're going with this. So anyway, got the hamstring here, trying to loosen it up. Of course, this hamstring here attaches to the, you know, tuberosity here. Now with that, you follow that all the way to the tailbone area. And right in here, you can feel a little bit, yeah, right there. How's that feel there? Yeah. Yeah, loosen that up. It's right next to the tailbone. Pelvis, sacrum, and all that area. So, just gonna work it, knead it, bake it, roll it. So this should help with his back too, because what happens, he gets tight, pulls on the back, and makes your pelvis shift all, all kinds of ways. So all this goes from here to your, to your ankle. So it's all connected. There it is right there. There. He just raised his head. Yeah. <laughs> so, shake it a little bit, get some movement in the ankle. Get the other calf muscles, kind of get them loosened up. Mobility. Let me get close to the microphone. Hear that? <laughs> All right. How's that stretch there? Wow. Calves need some work there, buddy. Yeah. All right. Let's see how you feel, man. Yeah. How's your calf raise? Right? Have more range of motion. Yeah, you do. Both ways. 
Awesome. Yeah. Love it. Sweet. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, man. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, enjoyed it, had a few laughs. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, uh, give me a thumbs up, comments, and uh, my website's uh, athletic Thank you and out. <laughs>